Hi, I'm Lisa from Action Potential Lab and we're a space in Toronto that teaches science and art and I'm here with my two friends Sophie and Aiden. How are you doing? Good. So today we're going to be making a peach sorbet. So Aiden, can I get you to... I'll open this up. Can you poke a hole inside that juice box for me? Awesome. And then let's take the straw out. And then this part is kind of fun. You can take the straw, put it right over there. And yeah, just put it on the table. And now what I want you to do is turn this around and squeeze it all into here. And Sophie, I need you to hold the cup really stable. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> okay, that's probably good just the way it is. I'm gonna take out the Ziploc. Did you know that the Ziploc was already inside a cup? Ta-da! Okay, so the next thing is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to zip this out and I wanna let all the air out, okay? So I'm just gonna zip. Does this look uh, delicious yet? No. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. A little bit? Hmm. I don't know if it looks like a refreshing treat like sorbet yet, so I'm gonna put this to the side and move this over. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to prepare another bag. This was a medium size, kind of like a sandwich size or a little bit bigger. Now we're gonna go for a large. Da -da 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 -da. Pretty awesome, right? Oh my God. I know, seriously. Now, this time it's going to be a little bit chilly. So this is what I need you to do. Can I get everyone to put on their gloves? I'm gonna put these yellow adult ones. Can you put on these two blue ones? I'm gonna put on these big ones here. And do you know why we might be putting on some winter gloves? Because we're gonna be touching the ice. Because we're gonna be touching ice, it's true. And that is very, very cold with just bare hands. Okay, and let's show, make sure we're all toasty and warm with our gloves. And we do this science kind of handshake where you like go like this. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the following. Um, we're gonna need some ice. Sophie, can you try to bring that big box of ice over here? I know it's kind of heavy. Boop. Awesome. Okay, you're each gonna help me with this. We're gonna take, sorry Aiden, I'm gonna le lean over. We're gonna take this bowl, about this size, and we're gonna do four scoops of ice. One. Two. Sophie, your turn. Let's do a big scoop. Three. Four. This is looking great. Okay, Sophie, do you wanna move that over to the side? You did fantastic. What do you think? Almost there, right? Aiden, will you do me a favor? Will you take the baggie and put it right inside here? Great. Good job. I like to think of it as we're making like a nice kind of cold bed for our juice. I'm gonna take off my gloves for just one second and just check this out. Also a good step is to kind of move around a little bit of the ice so you can really put the juice bag in there so it feels like it's all surrounded. Do you know what we're gonna do now? Yep, we're gonna do one, one scoop, exactly, one scoop. And what I want you to do is, I want you to try to slowly pour it all around the ice. Awesome. Ta-da, good job, so. Um, so before I go any further, I have to ask you a little bit of a science question, okay? Do you have an idea of why maybe we would be adding some salt to this ice bag? Because salt is tasty. Salt is tasty, that's a really good idea. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Have you ever seen in the middle of winter when we're driving on the streets, there's like an ice truck that goes around on the streets? Pouring the salt everywhere. And why do you think that is? Because it melts the um, ice on the road so when the car's going by it doesn't like into an accident. Exactly. So in this experiment, what we're going to do is the salt's going to start mixing around with the ice and it's going to help with the freezing point. We're going to make it so that the ice melts a little bit but also is able to cool the juice. And my hypothesis, my scientific guess in this experiment is that once we zip this up and we agitate it, which means shake it all around, 
I hypothesize that we're gonna get this liquid to turn into a solid. Let me zip this up. I hope this is good. Okay, our juice box is in, our salt and our ice. Are you ready? Okay, gloves on. I need a timer on. Let's do one minute, okay? I'll be counting in my head. And all I want you to do, and we're gonna help each other, is we're just gonna shake it like crazy. Do you think you could do that for me? Okay, starting now. Go, Aiden. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, who's feeling tired? Me. Okay, a little bit. Your hands are? Okay, we can't end yet. Do you wanna see something pretty cool? This is our midpoint test. I'm gonna take off my gloves for just a minute and let's see if there's been any state changes. What's your hypothesis? Your scientific guess. Do you think the juice is still liquid? Is it a full solid? Is it a gas? Or somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. What's your hypothesis? Not a liquid yet. Okay, let's check the... Not, not a solid yet. Not a solid yet. Let's see. Whoa, starting to look a bit different. You can totally touch it. Aiden, do you wanna try? But is it completely frozen yet? Nope. nope. And you know what? I think I want it to be a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do again... I'm gonna shake it. You got it. So let me zip it all up. I think this is good. Oh, I should get a little bit more of the air out. Listen. Woo! It's good that you're checking, Sophie. Okay. You know the drill. Gloves on. Ah, this time, let's put another minute on the clock. I'm gonna count to 60 in my head, and let's go. Okay, Whew. should we take a minute just to breathe? And let's get zen. Okay. Aiden, what do you think? Should we check it out? Okay, gloves off my scientists. We've agitated, we've lowered the, melt, the freezing point. What do you feel about your hands? Cold, salty, warm? Dead. Dead. Okay, moving these to the side. And let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh wait, I have to ask, of course. What's your hypothesis? What do you think the state of our juice box is? I think it's about Okay. Same? Let's check it out. Whoa. Now squish it. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Okay, so this next step is really to make it super easy to eat. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna move all of the juice or the sorbet to the side. I'm gonna put it actually in a cup. We could do it in a bowl, but I wanna make sure that both you and Aiden have a little bit to try, a sample. So I'm gonna move it over. Yeah, I think that's fair. What do you think? Okay. Oh, have I tried it? I have a cup of sorbet every day for breakfast. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. What I'd like to do is, I'm gonna have two cups ready to go. I'm gonna cut just the, the very edge of this, just to make it a little bit neater, and then I'm gonna try to squeeze it out. Awesome, oops, and let's put a little bit over here. Yeah, that's true. Should I put another cup for myself? Yeah. Okay. Boop. Okay, we're almost there, but you know what I find? No sorbet is complete without a little bit of sprinkles. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we'll put our sprinkles to the side. Does this look pretty colorful or what? Let's do a spoon each for Sophie, for Aiden, and for me. And should we do a big cheers before we go? Cheers. Cheers. One, two. Mm. 
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for coming to Action Potential Lab. To check out more videos in this series, go to Today's Parent.